viewers welcome back so we all are very curious about this upcoming bill of gst so let's find out for a layman what is gst gst is a good sand service tax it's basically a tax which will merge all various applied taxes into single one single tax in india now let's take for example if you are purchasing a particular product so from the manufacturer till the product comes to us there are various taxes included into it apart from the product price so if a product cost is rupees 100 it might happen that from a manufacturer to a sales person to a supplier to a consumer if any particular product is coming from 100 rupees there can be around 35 to 40 percent of tax or maybe more so gst will be just one applied tax for all these taxes there are two types of taxes in india direct and indirect taxes now direct tax is uh, for example income tax and indirect taxes are these taxes like service tax vat excise duty uh, uh, there are two types of taxes in india direct taxes and indirect taxes direct taxes for example uh, income tax is a direct tax and there are other taxes which are called indirect taxes like uh, central excise duty vat service tax luxury tax entertainment tax amusement tax so taxes on advertisement purchase tax so there are various different types of 18 to 20 25 different types of taxes now gst will be a uh, one of an indirect tax and uh, it will be a cumulative one tax instead of all this separate or all this different taxes gst is a significant step in the field of indirect tax reforms in india and by merging large number of central and state taxes into a single tax it would lessen double tax taxation in major way and make way for common national market now let's see what are the advantages for taxpayers and for consumers once the gst will be applicable first and foremost it will be a simpler tax system because there won't be various different different types of taxes hence it will be a simple tax system second the prices will be uniform throughout the country so across the country for a particular product if you go anywhere current if you go anywhere currently the mrp rate keeps changing so with the implication of gst uh, throughout the country across the country the rates will be same then there will be transparency of taxation system because this gst will be completely an online transaction from the registration to application to implementation everything will be done online and hence there will be lot of transparency in uh, uh, when gst is implemented there will be reduction of tax burden on the overall uh, uh, goods there will be reduction in overall uh, tax burden on the goods which is currently estimated to approximately 25 to 30 percent then reduction in prices of goods and services due to elimination of double taxation there would be an increase in employment opportunities also due to increase of gst services which will be required by the individuals and the taxpayers so for a layman for a common man it would be uh, less hassles into different types of taxations and uh, as it will be a one tax there would be uh, more opportunities uh, work opportunities i delete since india is a federal country both uh, state government as well as central government has the power to levy taxes and to collect taxes now with coming of gst internally this taxes will be segregated among uh, between central government and uh, state government and there won't be separate central government taxes or state government taxes now the liability to pay this taxes will arise when the uh, when the supplier uh, 
of goods or services crosses a turnover annual turnover turnover of around 20 lakhs so only when in a particular financial year if a supplier's turnover yearly turnover crosses 20 lakhs this tax will be applicable to the supplier liability of uh, gst will arise for a supplier who supplies goods or provides services and whose annual turnover uh, crosses 20 lakhs in a particular financial year that means if a supplier who is supplying goods uh, he needs to register under gst only when his annual turnover is 20 lakhs so under gst there would be uh, four different tax rates 5% 12% 18% 10 20% so depending upon the classification of goods and services there will be lower rates for essential items and highest rates for the luxury items so under gst there would be uh, four different tax rates 5% 12% 18% 10 20% so depending upon the classification of goods and services there will be lower rates for essential items and highest rates for the luxury items last but not the least because of its transparent and self policing character this tax would be easier to administer hope you find this video helpful in basic understanding of gst please write in your comments uh, so we get to learn more about it thank you for watching the video Take care and stay blessed.